Have you ever wondered why pilots in the middle of a flight would choose to dump thousands of gallons of fuel back into the atmosphere? Fuel dumping, a term that might sound strange or even alarming to many, is actually a common practice in the aviation world. But it's not because pilots are whimsical or wasteful. On the contrary, it's a measure taken under certain circumstances for the safety of the aircraft and its passengers. There are many misconceptions surrounding this practice. Some imagine a reckless spray of fuel raining down on unsuspecting people below. Others think it's a careless act contributing to environmental damage. In reality, the process is far more controlled and necessary than these assumptions suggest. In aviation, every decision is a careful calculation, and fuel dumping is no exception. The reason behind it is closely tied to a concept called the maximum landing weight. When an aircraft takes off, it's loaded with enough fuel to reach its destination, and then some, for contingencies. This makes the plane heavy, often heavier than its designated maximum landing weight. Now why does this matter? Well, landing a plane that's too heavy can cause significant stress to the aircraft's structure and even result in a dangerous situation. Most long-haul flights burn off enough fuel in flight to reduce the aircraft's weight below this limit by the time they're ready to land. But what happens if there's an emergency shortly after takeoff and the plane needs to land immediately? The aircraft would still be over its maximum landing weight. This is where fuel dumping comes in. Dumping the excess fuel reduces the weight of the plane, making it safe for landing. Fuel dumping, simply explained, is an aircraft losing weight before it lands. Anthony is an associate professor at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, and what he's talking about is officially called a fuel jettison. Planes are designed to land below certain weights. A heavier plane is more likely to hit the ground hard and get damaged. It's got 5,000 gallons of fuel, which is about three elephants weighing it down. So landing with a full tank is pretty risky. But most flights aren't landing with a full tank. They might not be taking off with a full tank either. Before takeoff, the flight planner calculates the amount of fuel needed to complete the trip, so that enough fuel gets burned off over the course of the flight, and the plane's weight comes down, and then it's safe to land. A pilot will choose to dump fuel only on very rare occasions. Contrary to popular belief, the dumped fuel doesn't rain down on the Earth. It's released at high altitude where it quickly evaporates and disperses, minimizing any environmental impact. To understand this seemingly counterintuitive practice, we must first delve into the intricate world of aviation. Imagine a jumbo jet, loaded for a long-haul flight, that needs to make an unexpected landing shortly after takeoff. The plane is too heavy to land safely, and that's where fuel dumping comes in. It's a way to lighten the aircraft quickly, reducing the risk of overshooting the runway or causing undue stress on the landing gear. But what about the environment? This is a common concern, and rightfully so. Fuel is dumped at high altitude, where it atomizes and evaporates before reaching the ground. Moreover, it's done over unpopulated areas or the sea whenever possible. And it's not a decision made lightly. The pilot, in consultation with air traffic control and the airline's operations center, will consider all factors before deciding to dump fuel. These factors include the nature of the emergency, the weight of the aircraft, the weather, and the location of the plane. Furthermore, not all aircraft even have the capability to dump fuel. Many modern short-haul aircraft are designed to land at their maximum takeoff weight, removing the need for fuel dumping. So while it may seem like a common practice due to the attention it gets, it is actually quite rare. But what do the aviation regulatory bodies say about fuel dumping? We reached out to an aviation expert from the Federal Aviation Administration for more insight. Our expert explains that the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, has strict rules and regulations surrounding fuel dumping. Essentially, it's only allowed in emergency situations. Why? Well, a plane's weight for landing is typically less than its weight during takeoff. So, if a plane needs to land prematurely, it may need to dump fuel to meet the landing weight restrictions. However, the FAA understands the environmental concerns tied to fuel dumping. This is why they encourage airlines to dump fuel over designated unpopulated areas, and at high altitudes, where the fuel has a chance to evaporate before reaching the ground. But here's the thing. 
It's not just about the FAA. Aviation bodies worldwide are working tirelessly to address these concerns. The International Civil Aviation Organization, for example, is actively engaged in research to reduce the need for fuel dumping, and it doesn't stop there. Innovations in aircraft design and operations are being developed to minimize fuel dumping. For instance, the creation of aircraft that can land safely at higher weights, or the implementation of flight paths that allow planes to burn off excess fuel. As our expert clarifies, the aviation industry is consistently seeking ways to reduce the need for fuel dumping and minimize its environmental impact. With growing environmental concerns, what steps is the aviation industry taking to address the issue of fuel dumping? As we delve deeper into this issue, it's important to highlight the significant strides the aviation industry has made to mitigate the environmental impact of fuel dumping. Technological advancements have played a crucial role in this regard. For instance, the development of more efficient, lighter aircraft models is a game-changer. These aircraft are designed to handle heavier landing weights, reducing the need for fuel dumping in emergency situations. In addition, procedural changes are also being implemented. Airlines are now more conscious about loading only the necessary amount of fuel for each flight. This not only reduces the weight of the aircraft, but also minimizes the risk of having to dump excess fuel. But the journey doesn't stop here. The horizon of aviation technology is ever-expanding, with ongoing research and development focusing on even more efficient aircraft designs and fuel alternatives. For example, the use of biofuels, which are produced from renewable resources, is being explored as a potential substitute for conventional jet fuel. The industry is also looking at ways to improve flight planning and air traffic management to further reduce fuel consumption and the need for fuel dumping. While fuel dumping is a complex issue, the aviation industry continues to strive for solutions that prioritize both safety and environmental responsibility. And with the unwavering commitment to innovation and sustainability, there's no doubt that the future of aviation is bright.